all the animals in this world, humans spend the longest time as children. And as children, we spend a third of our day in school. So the people, teachers and such like, who are charged with the task of looking after our kids in school, they have a great responsibility to ensure that this time will be a positive one. Of these people, the newly qualified teachers are at the greatest risk of burning out in the first couple of years. The main reasons cited for this are two things. Difficulties relating to pupil behaviour and also, quite interestingly, difficulties with other colleagues in the school. In a study, over 50% of newly qualified teachers made reference to poor behaviour in the context of the relationship with pupils, some describing traumatic incidents and feelings of helplessness. Approximately one third of newly qualified teachers reported that they had poor relationships with other staff members in the school which led to significant lows during the first year of teaching. Add these two factors together and the results can be disastrous for everyone but most importantly the child. In an attempt to address these problems I have decided to create a teacher resource that displays various behaviour intervention techniques. Most importantly though, these videos, artefacts, show the teacher from the child's perspective behaving in a positive manner. In order to demonstrate positive intervention, my journey takes us back to the 1984 American presidential elections between Ronald Reagan and Walter Mondale. In the eight days before the election, Ryan Mullen from Syracuse University videotaped the three national nightly news programs, anchored at the time by Peter Jennings at ABC, Tom Brokaw at NBC and Dan Rather at CBS. Mullen examined all the pieces and excerpted all reference to the presidential candidates until he had 37 separate pieces, each around two and a half seconds long. With the sound turned off, these segments were then shown to randomly selected people. They had no idea what was being spoken about or what the experiment was. They were asked to rate the facial expressions of each newscaster for each segment. They were then to score the emotional content of the three men on a 21 point scale, from extremely negative to extremely positive. The results were very interesting. Dan Rather and Tom Brokaw were scored as having a neutral expression when talking about each of the candidates. On the other hand though, the researchers found that Peter Jennings' face lit up every time he spoke about Ronald Reagan. Mullen and his colleagues then phoned up random people around the USA that watched the nightly news. They found that those who watched ABC voted for Reagan in far greater numbers than those who watched CBS or NBC. From this study it would seem that the subtle pro-Reagan bias in Jennings' face seems to have influenced the voting behaviour of his ABC viewers. The main point here in creating a resource for the newly qualified teachers is that in, in interpreting the studies it has been shown that simple physical movements can have a profound effect on how we feel and think. To take it a step further in creating this video resource, uh, it needs to be shot from the child's perspective and show the teacher intervening with positive movements such as nodding head and smiling.